Hey everybody, welcome back. Our last video was on the power vent window motors for the 1960s, Lincolns, Mercury's, Thunderbirds, talked about the Imperials a little bit. And I want to show you how I find some of this stuff out. This Hollander interchange manual is what the junkyards used back in the day before computers. You can still find these on eBay, but you have to be really careful. I mean, this one says 41st edition, so maybe go by that. I don't know. Um, you got to watch because a lot of them say um, foreign and stuff like that. This one says copyright 1975. And they, that's another thing. When you're looking at these on eBay, they don't show you these pages really to show you exactly what all they cover. And see this one, we're at 1965 here, and then the highest year is 1975. So that's why I bought this one, because it's going to cover pretty much the cars that I like. So, for instance, let's just say we want to look up those vent window motors. We're going to go up here. Power window motor. Group. Let's see if you can find it again. Power window motor, group three, page 115. So we're going to go group three, electrical, page 115. I'll get there, I promise. difficult to hold the phone and look for this at the same time all right page 115 power window motor so let's just say i was telling you about the 65 through 6 7 and mercury's having the power vents so let's look up mercury here we go 65, 66, you got door and quarter, gives you a number. Back window, it says sedan, you got tailgate, all those give you a number. We'll see, this says vent, and it says, it gives you a number 32. And then you do this by looking, you know, it, it gives you all of these American vehicles, and even truck in this one. So you come down here to interchange, power window motor. So we're going to look up this number. 32 and it's going to tell us what all that motor fits so turn the page and they're in order 32 it gives you a 63 c3 vy lincoln number so those vent window motors and remember these come just the motor they sold the regulator separately with these so those motors see it says lincoln 63 to 67 right vent and this is a and b and see here it says do not enter a and b do not interchange meaning right and left so lincoln 63 to 67 right vent where with the mercury 65 67 it was the left one so you had you can use these out of a lincoln but you have to use the right one for the left door in the mercury's then you got thunderbird 64 to 66 and that's the right one and then down here is B, Lincoln, 63 to 67, left vent, Mercury, 65 to 67, right vent, and Thunderbird, 64 to 66, left vent. So see, in the Mercury's, you had to use the right one in the left door and the left one in the right door, but they would work. And like I said, they will also work in Imperial as well. So let's go back here to the listing. And 67, 68, see, where it says vent, it lists 67, and it's got the same one, 32. And we just saw what that one covers. But then it lists 68, and it says 91. So let's go back over here to the interchange number and look up number 91 and see... Hold on. Get me on here. 
See, it even gives you the part number, C8MY54234028 and 3A. That's the part numbers. It says includes drive, meaning the regulator. Mercury, 68 vent. That means that that will only fit that car. It's not listed for anything else. So let's look up for shits and giggles. Let's look up Chrysler. Okay, here's 6971 vent, number 104. So we'll go back over here to our interchange, and we're going to look up number 104 and see what all that covers. 104 gives you the part number, right and left, vent with gear assembly. Fits Chrysler, 69 to 73, and Imperial, 69 to 73. So, that's how I learned a lot of this stuff. Um, let's look up something else, just for fun. Let's look up... Um, window, regulator, door, group 9A, page 67. 9A is... Body parts. We want page 67. Okay. Door window regulator. Let's look up. Let's go Chevrolet. That's Chevelle. Here, Chevrolet passenger front. 65 and 66 two door. You got manual and we got electric for two door. And then you got four door, you got manual and electric. You got sedan uh, and station wagon and you got hard top for four door. But let's look up two door and see this here. It's funny on 65, 66, I don't see it listing convertible. Where 67 two door sedan, hardtop, and convertible manual and electric. Let's look up, let's just look up 67 two door hardtop and convertible electric number 281. So just keep thumbing through here. Okay, interchange door window regulator. Dang it, what was that number? Did I say 281? Mm, 67, two-door, hardtop and convertible, electric. Yeah, 281. Well, right here on the first part. See, interchanged. Door window regulator. Number 281. Look how all that fits. Um, gives you the part number. Two and three for right and left. Buick 67, 68, two-door hardtop and convertible, excluding Riviera. Cadillac 67, 68, two-door, Chevrolet Passenger 67, two-door. Chevrolet Passenger 68 Impala, two-door hardtop and convertible. Old 67, 68, two-door hardtop and convertible. Pontiac 67, Two-door hardtop, excluding Grand Prix. Pontiac 67 two-door convertible. Pontiac 68 convertible. And two-door hardtop, excluding Grand Prix. So that's pretty... That covers a lot. That, that window regular later went in a lot of vehicles. Of course, we know that's why everybody builds 350 Chevys, because that's what GM did. They made everything work and everything else. What else could we look up? Um, let's see. Convertible top motor, group three, page 120. Group three is electrical, page 120. Pretty far up there.
back in the day before computers. Call up a junkyard, this is what they were looking at. Page 120. Boy, this doesn't cover much here at all. Look at this. I've got to hold this page down with my knee. Convertible top motors. That's it. Just right there in that one little space. It covers everything. Starting with Barracuda all the way through Valiant. But since I've got a 68 Ford, let's see. Ford. 65 to 8. And 69 to 72. See, that covers the only four convertibles that were offered in these years I was talking about, 65 to 75. So it says 65 to 8 is number 20. And it's just right down below that is the interchange. So 20 assembly complete with pump and reservoir. But it's a D1AZ. Number meaning 71 Ford number, so the part number had to have changed over the years because 20 it says 65 to 8, but 71 D1 means 71. So let's see, pump and motor. Let's see, assembly complete with pump and reservoir, it gives you the part number motor and pump and plate the reservoir it says is a 65 number fits ford 65 to 8 and mercury 65 to 8 so since that is changed to a d1 71 number ford 69 through 72 is number 29 up here Assembly complete with pump and reservoir. See, it's the same part number. Motor and pump. Now then it says the reservoir is Ford 69 to 72 and Mercury 69 to 70. The reservoir is a different part number, but something tells me that the pump and reservoir would work clear back to 65. That's what I'm guessing. You guys, please put in the comments and tell me what you think. But the way I'm seeing this, since the part number changed to a 71 part number, was used in the last two convertibles, 71, 72 LTD, I believe that you could take the pump, the complete, with pump and reservoir, I believe that it would work 65 through 72. Ford and Mercury is what I think. So... I think that's pretty cool to have this. I don't remember how long I've had it. Again, I did get it off eBay. you got to be careful when you're getting it. Make sure it's going to cover the years that you want. And most people don't show these pages. Like I said, so you have to ask questions. But that's the way to find out a lot of stuff, that, whether or not it fits your vehicle. So I sit and I look up all kinds of things with it. You know, I have customers call me and say, hey, will this fit that? I said, I don't know. Let me see. I can look 65 through 75. In most cases, it'll tell me. So look on eBay and get you one of these if you want to see what all fits your vehicle, no matter what you've got, you know, whatever year. Just be sure it doesn't say import unless that's what you've got. But anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I, I found it interesting. I hope you did too. If you want me to look something up for you, put it in the comments. I don't care. I'll do it. So please hit that thumbs up button down there and subscribe to my channel and stay tuned for more of this classic car stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe.